In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings, beloved of the Lord, and welcome. You are listening to Catholic Meditation with me, Father Blessed Ambang Njume. Today is Tuesday, the 7th of June, 2022. It is Tuesday of the 10th week in Ordinary Time, Church ESC. Good morning and thanks for joining us. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right and by your guidance do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the first book of the Kings, chapter 17, verses 7 to 16. The responsorial psalm is taken from Psalm 4. The response to the psalm is, Lift up the light of your face on us, O Lord. The gospel is taken from St. Matthew, chapter 5, verses 13 to 16. I read from the first reading. In those days, the brook where Elijah was hiding dried up because there was no rain in the land. Then the word of the Lord came to him, Arise, go to Zarephath, which belongs to Sidon, and dwell there. Behold, I have commanded a widow there to feed you. So he arose and went to Zarephath, and when he came to the gate of the city, behold, a widow was there gathering sticks, and he called to her and said, Bring me a little water in a vessel that I may drink. And as she was going to bring it, he called to her and said, Bring me a morsel of bread in your hand. And she said, As the Lord your God lives, I have nothing baked, only a handful of meal in a jar and a little oil in a pitcher. And now I am gathering a couple of sticks that I may go in and prepare it for myself and my son that we may eat and die. And Elijah said to her, Fear not, go and do as you have said, but first make a little cake of it and bring it to me, and afterward make for yourself and your son. For thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, The jar of meal shall not be spent, and the pitcher of oil shall not fill, until the day that the Lord sends rain upon the earth. And she went and did as Elijah said, and she and he and her household ate for many days. The jar of meal was not spent, neither did the pitcher of oil fail, according to the word of the Lord, which he spoke by Elijah. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The theme for today's meditation is Give all of yourself to God in total trust and surrender. Give all of yourself to God in total trust and surrender. Dear friends in Christ, welcome to this second part of the season of Ordinary Time, Church ESC. We begin reading from the first book of the Kings. Today's story is taken from the 17th chapter and it talks about the prophet Elijah and the widow of Zarephath. We recall that Elijah had prophesied drought in all of Israel for a few years. Confer 1 Kings chapter 17 verse 1. On account of the drought, there was neither water to drink nor water to grow crops. Consequently, there was thirst and hunger in all of Israel. However, on God's instructions, the prophet Elijah had been hiding in a brook beside the Cherith River and he was drinking from the stream while ravens brought him food. But after some time, the stream too dried up, so he too was left stranded. Again, on God's instructions, he left and went to Zarephath to meet a widow to give him food and drink. Remember, the widow was in Israel too and was suffering from the drought. In fact, what she had was the last of her reserve and she was preparing it for herself and for her son. After which they had eaten, she expected they would die of starvation because that was the last and they had nothing more left. It was this that the prophet asked her to give him, and we are told she did. Let us ask some questions. Was this widow stupid? Was she foolish? Could she be so unconcerned about her life and that of her son? What if after giving all to the prophet, she and her son later died? Was she taking an unnecessary risk? Would she have been blamed for killing herself and her son if they died? Was the prophet Elijah too that insensitive? Asking the widow to bring water and food for him, knowing fully well that that was all they had. What if they died? Many questions. Very many questions and probabilities. But from their answers lies the theme of today's meditation. Give all of yourself to God in total trust and surrender. For some of us, the widow was stupid and foolish. Yes, you might think so. But beloved, the widow was not stupid. Neither was she careless. She had rather understood one great thing about God that many of us still do not understand. When God is concerned, give him your entire life in total trust and surrender and his divine providence will take care of the rest for you. She knew she was giving to God. So why give God and fear or doubt? All we have is given to us by God and we cannot be stingy to him if he asks us for some or all of what he gave us. He who gave can and will always still give. Imagine a child whose parent has given him a candy and the parent asks of that very child a piece of the candy and the child denies to give, hiding it behind his back. How foolish the child can be. He quickly forgets that it was his parent who gave him and that they can give him even much more. Many times, this is how we behave with God. He gives us something and comes back to ask of us 
and we try to hide it away from him, forgetting that it was he who gave and he can give us much more. In the story, Elijah represents God and the widow represents each one of us. Do you give God your all, trusting his providential care? Or do you want to play smart with him, being stingy, or trying to deny giving yourself to him, hiding it from him? God is asking us, as Elijah asked of the widow, to give him our all, our entire lives, and trust that he will take care. Elijah said to the widow, fear not. The widow gave her all, and she, Elijah, and her son ate for many days. And we are told, the jar of flour did not finish, neither did the pitcher of oil. If she had claimed to be too intelligent or smart, she would have been the loser. With God, we don't play intelligence or smartness. She would have been penny wise, but pound foolish. Those who give their all are always repaid a hundred times over. Confirm Matthew chapter 19, verses 27 to 29. And God does not lie. This is what Jesus means when he says, Trust in divine providence. Matthew chapter 6, verse 26. And Acts of the Apostles chapter 25, verses 1 to 12. People will think you are stupid and foolish. You just give your all. That is what they say. You may also want to play smart. Remember, you can never outwit God. All through scripture, mostly, they are widows, those who do not have, who by every logic should try to keep for themselves. They are rather instead those who teach us how to give our entire lives to God. Remember also, the same is true of the widow and her two small coins. Confer Luke chapter 21 verses 1 to 4. Other rich people too did same like Matthew, the tax collector, who abandoned all and followed Jesus. Matthew chapter 9, verses 9 to 13. Abraham too was ready to give away his only son. Confess Genesis chapter 22. What about you? God wants our entire lives. Give him all. When you go to offertory in church, do not give him only your money. No, give him your entire self too. All of yourself. He wants all of you. Priests and religious, let us give him all of ourselves in total service and surrender. Totus tuus. I am all yours, O Lord. In the words of our blessed mother, the Virgin Mary, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Do with me as you will. Luke chapter 1. Verse 38. These songs are very soothing to today's meditation. I am thine, O Lord, take all of me.
I surrender all to you, my dear God, my entire life and my family. Let us pray. Lord, I surrender all to you. I am all yours. My life, my family, my work, take control. I am all yours. I know you will never fail me. I trust in your divine providence that never fails. And I know that even when I least expect, your hand will provide for me and do all things for me. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Give your all to God in total trust and surrender.